A year after its release, Anthropic is donating the Model Context Protocol to the newly created Agentic AI Foundation. Welcome back to the AI Daily Brief Headlines Edition, all the daily AI news you need in around five minutes. Now, our title lead story for the headlines is about Anthropic donating the MCP to the newly created Agentic AI Foundation. But I did want to do a quick check-in on the GPT 5.2 waiting room, given that this is expected to be the biggest news of the week. So initially, prediction markets, by which I think at this point we can safely say OpenAI insiders, had initially pointed to Tuesday as the release date. It now appears that Thursday is the day. However, outside of just polymarket predictions, we're also starting to see rumors of a new GPT image model being tested on Design Arena and LM Arena. The model is codenamed Chestnut and Hazelnut across the two platforms and seems pretty strong. AI developer Can wrote, Key observations. World knowledge similar to Nano Banana Pro can generate celebrity selfies with very similar quality to Nano Banana Pro can write code and images very well. Others thought these new rumored models still had more of an AI sheen to them, and some even noticed that the distinctive yellow tinge of GPT image models, affectionately known by some, apologies in advance for the gross name, as the piss filter, is still there. While the rumors were swirling on X, we also got a full write-up of the code red plans from the Wall Street Journal. Altman told the journal that two models are planned, Garlic or GPT-5.2, and another model in January. GPT-5.2 will deliver a boost in capabilities for AI coders and enterprise customers, as well as, hopefully, generally build some momentum. The January model is intended to have better images and personality, and the code red will supposedly end upon its release. Take all that together and it means that for eight weeks, all work on Sora development, the focus on AGI, all of that stuff has been put aside in favor of improving the ChatGPT experience. Altman framed the issue as existential, stating that for the company to survive, they may need to postpone the quest for AGI and give people what they want in the here and now. I remain, as always, very excited to see what the new model offers. But for now, let's shift to this new Agentic AI Foundation. So the AIIF will be a directed fund that's held by the Linux Foundation, ensuring its independence from any single AI company. OpenAI, Anthropic, and fintech company Block all put aside any differences to become co-founders of this new foundation and each made their own founding contributions. Block donated their Goose agent framework, while OpenAI donated the agent.md instruction format. Still, the big one that caught notice was Anthropic donating the model context protocol standard. In announcing the move, Anthropic wrote, bringing these and future projects under the AAIF will foster innovation across the agentic AI ecosystem and ensure these foundational technologies remain neutral, open, and community-driven. OpenAI engineer Nick Cooper said that the neutral organization was necessary to ensure that agents and systems work together without competing standards. He commented, We need multiple protocols to negotiate, communicate, and work together to deliver value for people. And that sort of openness and communication is why it's not ever going to be one provider, one host, one company. Now, this is something that I've talked about a lot this year. One of the things that has been really interesting about the competitive landscape of AI is that pretty much all of these companies figured out quite quickly that it was to their benefit to rally around the standards that people seem to be adopting, rather than try to each have their own standards. There was a moment back earlier in the year when it seemed like maybe OpenAI would offer a competitive version of MCP, but when they decided not to and when Google embraced it as well, it really showed how as intense the competition may be between these companies, they do still get that common standards rise the tide and a rising tide lifts all boats. Still, having all of this embedded in an independent foundation certainly institutionalizes that spirit of cooperation in a more durable way. Now, as for the new AAIF, it will be a distinct entity from the rest of the Linux Foundation, allowing for a governance structure to deal specifically with the development of agentic AI systems. Not only will there be an independent steering committee for each standard, but the AAIF will also deal with overarching issues like agent safety and interoperability. Said Anthropic's Chief Product Officer Mike Krieger, MCP went from internal project to industry standard in a year. Now it gets the long-term stewardship it deserves. Now, moving on, while we didn't get GPT-5.2 yesterday, we did get the first ever OpenAI certification courses. Back in September, OpenAI announced their plans to introduce formal certifications and a related jobs platform to help develop AI skills in the workforce. Now the first set of courses are here, and they're called AI Foundations. OpenAI said that the courses are designed to help users learn core, practical AI skills that apply across roles and industries. The courses are presented in collaboration with Coursera and can be accessed directly in ChatGPT through the integrated Coursera app. The courses are being deployed directly in the enterprise through partnerships with Walmart, John Deere, Lowe's, BCG, Accenture, and many more. The courses are also being piloted in universities with Arizona State and California State participating in the first trials. 
In addition to AI Foundations, OpenAI is also launching a ChatGPT Foundations course for teachers, dealing with the essentials of how ChatGPT works, how to navigate and personalize the tool, and how to apply it to real classroom and administrative tasks. Lastly today, another one that could easily be a full main story. So we'll just touch the highlights. The U.S. Department of War has unveiled a new AI platform for the military. The platform is called genai.mil and will host various AI services, with the first being Google's Gemini for Government. In a press release, the department said, This initiative cultivates an AI-first workforce, leveraging generative AI capabilities to create a more efficient and battle-ready enterprise. Announcing the new platform, Secretary of War Pete Hegseth said, The future of American warfare is here and it's spelled AI. This platform puts the world's most powerful frontier AI models directly into the hands of every American warrior. At the click of a button, AI models on Gen AI can be utilized to conduct deep research, format documents, and even analyze video or imagery at unprecedented speed. We will continue to aggressively field the world's best technology to make our fighting force more lethal than ever before. And all of it is American-made. Now, Google, for their part, was far less oora in their description of the platform. They gave example use cases like summarizing policy handbooks, generating compliance checklists, extracting key terms from statements of work, and creating risk assessments for operational planning. Indeed, you can almost feel them trying to find the most benign use cases that have nothing to do with the lethality of the American military. By reading the Google announcement, it seems from their side at least to be more about giving the military access to LLMs for white-collar work among service members. Google even underscored that the system is only allowed to be used for unclassified business processes. Now, there is a lot cooking when it comes to the U.S. military and their use of AI. Although I think we'll have to save that for another episode. In the press release about genai.mil, Emil Michael, the Undersecretary for Research and Engineering, said, There is no prize for second place in the global race for AI dominance. We are moving rapidly to deploy powerful AI capabilities like Gemini for Government directly to our workforce. AI is America's next manifest destiny, and we're ensuring that we dominate this new frontier. So, friends, a nice, uncontroversial use of AI to close out our headlines. For now, though, that is going to do it for the headlines. Next up, the main episode.